Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? Back with another one, man. This one crazy. It's about your girl, Tia Kim. Uh, Rick Ross' baby mama. His son was just shot. I had uploaded that earlier uh, yesterday. And um, now they got footage of how she's getting kicked out. I don't know if it has something to do with the son. The Ross not wanting her to be there or whatever's going on. Uh, you know, her, her image is getting tarnished, as you know. Uh, Rick Ross is putting her down, man, and putting that work in to make sure she she reap what she I ain't gonna say deserve I'm not in a situation but I'm here to give y'all the updates and the footage and what not on what's going on and this is what's going on y'all gotta check this one out man she is going off at everybody at the hospital man this is crazy it's her own son and they not letting her see her own son so y'all check this one out. Drop in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this whole scenario. If y'all thought, you know, anybody had something to do with that or her son just didn't want her to see him in the condition he's in until he's fully recovered. Let me know what y'all think, man. What y'all take on this, man. Drop in the comments, man. Why y'all let it hit that subscribe button. Y'all know I appreciate all the love and support as always, man. We're going to run it up, man. We're going to run it up as always, man. And uh, to the next one, man, I'm out. This hour, what their investigators believe happened is there was a man in his 60s, and you will see there were evidence markers by that truck, but also by uh, cases of beverages. He was here to deliver beverages to this market. When they say a black SUV rolled by, a gunman then opened fire, and one bullet struck the man in the 60s just delivering beverages, doing you know his work this morning. He was uh, hit in the leg. He is expected to be okay. And then a second man that was here in his 20s, a man who police believe could have been the intended target of the drive-by shooting, also hit. He was hit in the stomach, also though described as non-life-threatening injuries. Both men were sent to Jackson Ryder Trauma Center to be treated. Rock, local test, Christina Vasquez joining us live with the latest on the search for a shooter, Christina. And now police do need your help with this investigation. Take a look. A man in his 60s delivering these beverages to this Liberty City market this morning, now recovering from a gunshot wound, say police, after being caught in the crosshairs of a drive-by shooting. Gray sky and bouts of steady rainfall. Crime scene technicians worked to collect evidence. This morning at approximately 9 a.m., we received a shot spotter alert indicating several shots fired. Officers would find two men with gunshot wounds. One being a black male, approximately 27 years of age, and a second was a Hispanic male in his 60s. Their investigation would reveal just as the man in his 60s was making his morning delivery. The vehicle had driven by, had shot several shots at the black male and unintentionally hitting the Hispanic male that was actually delivering sodas to a local business. Um, both of them were transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital and they are in stable condition and being treated. And of course, that is the good news in all of this, in the sense that these two men that are suffering and now recovering from these gunshot wounds, they are expected to be okay. But police are trying to identify the driver and the gunman. If you have any information about this case, you can give Miami Police a call or you can call Crime Stoppers. Remember, your call there can remain anonymous. The beverages to this market. When they say a black SUV rolled by, a gunman then opened fire. And one bullet struck the man in the 60s, just delivering beverages, doing you know his work this morning. He was uh, hit in the leg. He is expected to be okay. And then a second man that was here in his 20s, a man who police believe could have been the intended target of the drive-by shooting, also hit. He was hit in the stomach, also though described as non-life-threatening injuries. Both men were sent to Jackson Ryder Trauma Center to be treated, at least at this point what their investigators believe by shooting sent two men to the hospital. Police say one of them was the intended target. It happened outside of a smoke shop in the 6900 block of Northwest 7th Street in Miami. When officers arrived, they say a car drove past the two men intending to hit one of them.
there was a vehicle driving by and intended to shoot at uh, the black male when the Hispanic male that was delivering soda to a, to a local business was accidentally shot on the leg. No arrests have been made and police need information. If you have any information, contact Miami police. So you wasn't mixed up with Ross and Diddy. Do you see me bouncing up and down in Maybachs and 30 foot ceilings and chandeliers jumping out the ceilings? You see what's up there, man. You see a wooden fan. You don't see no 30 foot ceilings and stuff in here. You don't see no, no half a million dollar paintings on my walls. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me flying around going to Greece, Senegal, and all these other continents on a jetty jet jet with his black car spinning up his money. You ain't seen me with a Birkin Durkin crock a dock a bag. No, that's the, you ain't seen me with no 15, 20 carat diamond ring yet. Like, don't you ever try me like that, man, because I'm about my money. Like, if I would have been a part of that, hey, man, real talk, baby, I'd have been so well in the Hamptons. I won't be sitting over here on this phone with you little scumbags. I wouldn't do nothing like this. Of course not. I have my paper up. I'll be somewhere speaking several languages to your other daddies. I won't have any time for you. I'll be eating sushi and eating caviar, drinking white dessert wines. You get what I'm saying? Eating all kind of French breads and stuff with butters and truffle from all around the world. Like, let's not be so small minded, man. And I ain't even that much of a freak. You know what I'm saying? You get you one nut and you go to bed and I see you in a couple days, maybe a week. You ain't finna be screwing me five, six, seven times a day. I'm not on that. So no, I ain't never been part of no baby or booty busting bandit business. Don't play with me. Won't you go over there and ask Renee about her brother? Go ask her. Go over there and ask her. Go ask her big, fat, big, big neck, big, wide neck. Girl. <laughs>